Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocket Days back with another tutorial, and then this video I'll be talking about repeat replacer or uh, something that will replace your you know words with a lot of repeated uh, letters and will will remove them and it will give back the original word that is meant to be given. So over here, as you can see on the screen, we have a simple four line code. So it is similar to those days where I used to talk about uh, in, in my previous video videos on NLTK, I talked about word underscore tokenize and all that stuff. You just have to, you know, import something and then use it as a function and then just uh, voila, it just gives you the result. So uh, if you have seen my last video, it was on regex, regex replacer. So in that, what we do is we use uh, uh, regular expressions. This was the class that I had shown you how to construct and all that. So here, uh, when you give uh, certain patterns, what it'll do is it will just uh, return anything like won't to will not. I mean, it will convert that and it will return it into this uh, format. And don't to do not and so on, which you can just specify. You just have to keep on adding more tuples on this. In this video, I'll be talking about something called repeat replacer, and I'll show you how to construct it, even though it is it looks a bit uh, tedious over here. So don't uh, uh, you know don't get scared of the code. Uh, I mean, it, it is always better if you practice while you know learning. I mean, while watching, you know, it is better to learn via practice. That is what I meant to say. So anyways, uh, let's get started. So this is the final product. I mean, the final uh, script which you'll be running. What it'll do is, uh, let us say I give any kind of uh, a word. Let's say man. All right. So I just wanted to say man. Okay. So now let me run it. So as you can see over here, it's, it's, it's giving me man. So it is removing all these A's inside and it is giving me that. So let's say we, we write something like, uh, vg lens so if you see over here it is giving me vigilance uh and it is removing all the repeated uh letters but of course uh what this will do is all what this will also do is that if at all i have a, a word like book it will give me bark so we'll see how to deal with these cases in the next video but in this video i'll, I'll only be talking about how you can you know contract your words i mean remove the repeated uh letters which are unnecessary all right so let's get started so as you can see over here what uh the uh the final uh way i mean the final way how you 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 will use it is from example replacer which is a module that i constructed over here you have to put it up in the site packages so if you see the uh address over here it says site packages uh so lib slash site packages so if you put it over there you can use any kind of module so this is a module which is importing re so you have to make sure that you import re because regular expressions are very important i mean importing the module will allow us to work with these uh, expressions all these things that you see over here so i spoke about all this in the last video as well where i talked about uh, regex to replace it. so go ahead and just check it out if at all you have time or if you you know if you would like some more info so anyways, uh, so what I'm trying to say over here is you just import the uh, class and then after you import the class, you just uh, use it as a function. So replacer is equal to repeat replacer and then what you say is the result is replacer dot replace and then this is basically, a, it is basically a, the it, uh, whatever is going on here is not, an ex not ex exactly a function. What it's doing is it's instantiating a, you know, a class. So it is creating an object uh, via a class. It is instantiating an object. So yeah, I am sorry if I said instantiate, instantiating a class. So it's instantiating a, an object via the class repeat replacer. So anyways, after using this, uh, what we do is result is equal to replacer dot replace, and then you just apply whatever word that you would want. Uh, so you can just say anything. So I just uh, demonstrated uh, to you all that. So you can say demo. So it'll return back demo. So before I show you how to uh, construct this class, I mean, it's just uh, copying down these lines. If at all you just want to do that, I'll uh, put a uh, description below so you can just uh, note it down. It's not a 
uh, it's not a big deal but i would also like that you know you understood what are the mechanics behind all this so let's say over here if i run this uh, i'm getting uh big again but within within with a lesser i so i'll, I'll just show you over here so if i say biig what it is doing is it is removing one i so how is it happening so this commented code i'll be talking about it after this now after explaining uh the the these lines so what's happening is as usual i have a regex over here and then re.compile which you have to write in if, if at all you would like to use this regex so what it will do is that uh, it will take whatever obeys this uh, format this regular expression format and it applies all that stuff once uh, you give a sub substitute method so the kicks dot sub and all these things so i'll just explain how, how it works so it's like you have re.compile and you provide a regular expression so what is the meaning of this so i'll just uh, do this okay so when you have uh, R, uh, basically R means that it's a raw expression. So it tells the system that, you know, get ready. Uh, I'm going to send you the regular expression format. I mean, a string of regular expressions. So that is the meaning of the R apostrophe. And uh, in the quotes, whatever you write is the regular expression. So the first one, uh, uh, just forget about these uh, brackets for a while. So the first one says slash W, which means a letter. And when you have, when you put a star, what it means is uh, more than, I mean, zero or more uh, elements will be found over here. So basically star is that. And when you have a question mark, it means zero or one. And uh, a plus, plus would mean actually uh, uh, one or more. All right, anyways, uh, getting back. So we have a star over here because, see, uh, so let's, let's say I'll, I'll just uh, show you over here. Let's say I have a, a uh, word called grow all right so now a g is a w i mean it's a, it's a slash w a one form of slash w and r is another slash w all right you're getting it right so this all this dr is taken care of by this expression while these repeated uh, expressions are taken care of by this so uh, these two things so what's happening over here is uh, so what is this slash two? Slash two is something called a back reference. All right. So I'll just type it down. Uh, so back reference. Okay. So how back references work is like this. So let's say you are constructing a regular expression like this, and you want certain parts of it to be revisited by the system, or else let's say over here you want to uh, revisit it. So over here you see slash one, slash two, slash three. So what you do is you put them inside these uh, uh, brackets in these parentheses or whatever you call them. So in this uh, parentheses, when you put it, the first parentheses will become the first back reference when you you know back reference it like this slash one. So the first one will be the uh, back referenced one, and the second one will be the second one inside this. So in our code uh one clever thing that what uh, whatever we are doing is that you know we are checking out like this like you know you have a slash w followed by slash two over here which means that a repetition of two times i mean let's say you have uh, something like bat all right so bat a is getting repeated twice so the b is taken care of by this yeah even if you have uh something like uh let's say beat all right so be is going to be taken care of by this slash w star because it is slash w star one or more so the second one the this one is going to take in uh, going to be uh you know uh referenced i mean it, it's going to be taken care of by uh this one so the second uh, reference while slash 2 will actually talk about the second a over here and after we go further it can uh, i mean it is going to end in the same way as it started so slash w star because you can have any kind of stuff over here so anyways uh that's uh, what i just wanted to talk about so after this is done so re.compile it'll, it'll understand okay so it, it'll just check for it uh so if, if at all i have something in this word it'll see that okay if it is following all this stuff it is going to substitute now how are we creating the substitute function i mean 
when you say regex dot sub, it means the substitute function, and the first uh, element will be the replaced word. Okay, uh, the first uh, not the element, the the argument that you provide will be the replaced word. What do you want to replace this with? So what it is going to do is it will say slash one slash two slash three. It is simple. So it is it will just say that this is the slash one and this is the slash two and this is slash three. All right. So what it'll do is it'll just return back whatever is going on. I mean, uh, it it will just uh, return back. It won't. Re I mean, it won't uh, return slash two. That that is why we get a one lesser entity. So what I mean to say is, if I have bii, I'll be getting big. So let's say if I have uh, uh, anything called uh, cat. All right. So I'll be getting one a. So the fw is the replaced. I mean, it is the uh, original word that you want to replace so uh, the second argument is basically the word that you want to apply this function on so anyways uh, fw means first word and second w uh, sw means second word these are just my variables you can call them whatever you want so this is uh, this is a basic uh, example so what uh, th there exists a problem with this is that if I have too many uh, stuff there are too many a's in this uh, word uh, it will just uh, it'll just remove only one a and why is that that is because uh, it's going to consider all these uh, c a a a a in this first reference while the two a's are going to be captured by these two while the last t is going to be captured by this i hope you understood that so t is going to be taken care of by this and the last two a's are going to be taken care of by these two while uh, if you see these all these things will be taken care of by this so that's how it happens so even if you have something like dog so let's see how that comes out so if you see over here only one o is getting reduced so how do we deal with this so uh, i just i don't i don't want just one thing to go off i just want the whole thing so you can create a for loop and you can keep looping or else you can just uh, use uh, what do you call uh, you can use uh, uh, you, can, you can use a function like this so I'll, I'll show you all right so you can use a function which has the recursion in it so that's the word i was going to search for so oh yeah anyways uh recursion so it's a recursive function it'll keep on going it'll keep going on until it satisfies a function uh, condition so what that condition is like this so if you see over here i have commented it out so i'm going to do the same thing over here so i already have regex stored here and what i'm saying is loop underscore result uh, uh, and the function is called looper it will take a word so it will return back whatever word is uh, you know our actual answer so what it will do is uh, it will just uh, uh, one second so what it will do is it will just uh, it will just construct regex.sub and then r123 uh, the same as this and then word it will take it will take the word and apply it on this and we'll check if the word is equal to loop underscore rest so what it is uh, saying is it is going to check whether uh, okay so I'll, I'll just show you over here so what it is saying is if i if at all i have uh, let's say cat so it is going to check okay after applying this am i still getting cat or not if, if not then do something else so what it is going to do is it is going to apply it again so that is the meaning of all these if else statements so let's say i have cat so the first time when this gets applied, what it'll do is it'll just check, uh, okay, is uh, is this C A A T is equal to C A A T? So it'll get a no. So what it'll do is it'll apply again. So it'll it'll apply again, and we'll get we'll and then it'll check if C A A T is equal to C A T, and it'll say no, it is not. And then it'll apply again. But now, right now, when you see that it is C A T, uh, so since you already got C A T, so It'll, it'll, it'll again check it but uh, since there is nothing to remove you will get the same answer as CAT and then the recursive function ends thereby leaving us with uh, I mean return I mean it will return the word so it will just return the word uh, over here loop press and it'll, it'll, uh, uh, thereby it will return the word leaving us with the word CAT
So SW is equal to loop or FW and I'll, I'll print it out over here. All right, sorry about that because I, uh, okay, I, I commented out FW. So I'll, I'll write down some of the word over here. So let's say D. All right, so you can see that it is returning D I G. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, that's what I wanted to discuss. And then further, I'll be talking about uh, the constructing the replacer uh, class. But you can see that this function is a bit greedy. So it is what it is doing is it is taking everything and just contracting, cutting away any kind of uh, you know uh, stuff. I mean, any kind of uh, stuff that repeats anything that repeats. So over here, as you can see, it is cattle. But uh, you see that it is C A T L E which is nonsense so such things uh, i mean in the, uh, this uh, function is too greedy so we'll be dealing with that in the next video and anyways uh, uh before that I'll, I'll just quickly show you how you can use this i mean i, I just showed you how you can use this uh, class i mean use this module and then uh, import all these things and just use it uh, i'll show you how to do that uh, over here so what you do is you just uh, construct a class called repeat replacer and give an object over here and then give a definition of uh, i mean you it is usual that you know you have to give an init for everything so you just say self and nothing else uh, i mean you, you, because we don't have any argument over here if you want you can construct your classes uh, much more creatively if you want uh, uh, different kinds of things and all Anyways, that's up to you. So self dot regex uh, is nothing but re dot compile as you as you saw over here as well. So we have uh, regex is equal to re dot compile, but over here we are calling it self dot regex because it belongs to this object. So if at all one object is created, its uh, regex should not class with uh, someone else's regex. So anyways, uh, this is not necessarily that. Uh, mandatory because this regex won't change for other objects so anyways uh but having this will be better so uh so that you can pass this self regex over here as well uh, down below so anyways uh, self dot repel is nothing but the substituting uh string that you want so repel is nothing but the replacing uh, or the substituting element which is r uh one two three so what i did is i just said self dot repel is this and uh, after that you define a replace uh, function so uh, self is passed uh, which is which you have to do in any kind of classes function and the, f and the second one is word so what it will do is it will just take a word as you see over here it is taking uh, replace it or replace it it's taking a word so over here we have demo so so what it'll do it will do with the word is it will just say loop underscore res is self dot regex dot sub uh, because we have self dot regex over here, it is similar to this whatever I've uh, already uh, described. So we have self dot repel, and then it will take the word, and then it will check uh, whether word is equal to loop underscore res or not. And if it is, then it will return loop underscore res. If it is not, it will again go for another round, and this is recursion, so it will just call itself again. So this is this 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 is the same thing that I showed over here. So that's how it works. So when I build it, it is done. It is not showing anything. But if I go here, I can say hi, and then I'll get a hi. So that's it, guys. So I hope you uh, like this uh, tutorial. So I discussed uh, a lot about uh, repeat replacer. So how we can construct it, how you can construct the class, and uh, so on. Uh, but one more thing, uh, as I already mentioned twice, I'll mention it the third time again. So. When you have uh, any kind of actual words like you know cattle or uh, let's say anything like bluff, uh, what you get is you get bluff uh, with a lesser f. I mean, it it will not check whether this is a uh, actual this is an actual English word or not. So what we have to do is simply just uh, add in much more more code which will check whether or not this is a this is an English word. And I'll be showing that in the next video. So stay tuned and also like this video if you liked it and also share it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to my channel so that you know you'll be helping me grow. Alright, guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is Rocket Days. Bye bye.